Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Chat Mojo. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Nifty Bank, Nifty DAO, and uh, this time we have uh, chosen three FNO counter which are looking weak. Um, we will be discussing in this video. So guys, if you remember in the last week, uh, we were thinking that market might remain in the broader sideways range or if it breaks any level, I was uh, expecting 17,800 or market to remain in the range of 17,200. But if 17,200 was broken, we were expecting 17,000 and 17,800 level. Now, my initial belief was that Fed was in the picture at that time on Sunday, Fed had Fed has announced a, a kind of a relief measure for the banks. So in technical analysis, we usually say don't fight the Fed. Okay, this literally means that whenever Fed tries to take any action regarding to the liquidity measures, okay, which they take in the market, ideally traders don't try to you know mess with the a very big uh, institution or you can say uh, we can also say the primary pillar of the market okay so this time we have seen that many big players in the market are going against them and they are creating short position uh, on after that announcement in at sunday we were thinking that uh, market might take a pause but uh, we have seen a sharp selling in the previous week if you see nifty heavyweight counters we can also see a very good sharp selling there as well now if you look at the nifty chart okay what comes to your mind first should be this falling support line now, if you see this falling support line here, you can see at one touch point, okay, second, third, and this was the fourth touch point, which means that this falling touch line, okay, uh, this falling support line is providing a very good indication of a support area, which is being hold throughout this downtrend. Now, if you see this level, this will come near about 16850 level okay if we go below this trend line definitely then all the gaps which we are seeing here which i am marking here will be available to get filled in the current down play okay so in the next week whenever market goes below okay i'm writing here 16800 okay or this trend line okay we can simply assume this trend line to be near at 16750 okay if we go below this level then the first level will be here 16650 and the second level will be near about 16200 level okay these are the level which we would play for if we see a breakdown here now on 22nd March, there will be again a very important uh, date, which is about the rate decision of uh, Fed. If you see in the previous week, ECB European Central Bank have uh, maintained their rate hike, which was about 50 basis point. Uh, if you see DEX chart as well, you will see some weakness in the DEX chart. DEX which was Germany. If you see that chart that was outperforming many market in the world, uh, but right now they are also falling. Okay. So it will be interesting to see that in this Fed meeting, what will be the decision. And again, this week, if you know, uh, we see a breakdown. Okay. Then we have selected three counters which you can see uh, getting further weekend in the upcoming week. And I am personally not expecting this level to be taken out in the current expiry. Okay. Wednesday, which will uh, 22nd March, which will be Wednesday. Um, so impact on our market will be seen on Thursday. Okay. On uh, expiry in this current week expiry of the rate decision in US. So 
if any positive surprise is there or if market reacts in a positive way on the fed uh, announcement then there might be a chance but still i think the probability is very very less that 17800 will be taken out so we can mark this level as a very uh, stiff resistance there okay so we won't be expecting uh, 17800 any level above this so 17500 to 400 on an upside okay and uh, in a best case there is little bit of gap 17600 at the level okay at at the 17600 level it might touch there so we will expect that nifty so if slight negative trigger also comes in the market then we can see this falling support line to be taken out in the market and we can expect some lower level otherwise market might try to remain in 17500 to 400 kind of a so let us go to bank nifty if we see the bank nifty chart it is interesting to see here that bank nifty is right now outperforming nifty because you can see this was the previous support level and bank nifty somehow tried okay did try to again re-enter its support zone okay what does it mean is bank nifty is gaining a little bit of more strength and if we see our friday session we can see that due to the hdfc announcement hdfc and hdfc bank uh, merger uh this thing i think so it was kind of an acceptance uh that's why we are seeing that both of those counter okay uh were up so this might be the result of that but it is too early to say okay uh still in bank nifty also we might expect if any negative news comes in the market to reach 37000 level okay which is nothing but your previous support okay and uh, i think so 37000 level will act as a major major support we are not thinking that 37000 might come in next week but now if any other further negative news regarding to the banking se banking sector if it comes then 37k will be the level that we will watch for so now levels in the bank nifty to watch for in the next week will be if someone looking to go long then 40k is the level okay if bank nifty tries to go above 40k then only for intraday one can think of 40,300 and 40,500 in the intraday that's it and uh, if any positive announcement comes okay then there is a chance that here is a gap level near about 41,400 to 500 region but again I am uh, not expecting this to be filled in the current week but let us see uh, how the data comes okay on uh, 22nd of March so we will look on the expiry okay especially this week expiry we are expecting that uh, it might be uh, quite volatile so based on the data so above level what will be we will be expecting is above 40k intraday 4300 and 4500 uh, can be the good level if that really sustain for two days or three days then chances of gap will be there but personally not expecting that in the current week if bank nifty closes below 39k then definitely we will expect at least 38k in the current week to come okay now guys looking at the crude crude has given a little bit positive uh, indication but the fall of crude uh, is quite fast and if we see crude falling to 60 dollar next week then instead of giving a positive indication it might also give a negative indication because if crude falls very fast then it also shows us the sign of global slowdown okay so we will watch here okay right now we will take this as a positive indication but crude if continues to fall at the same angle you can see the fall in crude is near about more than 60 degree angle okay in this fall so wait for this current week if the fall continues with the same intensity then definitely a worry of global slowdown will be there so guys now let us see a dow chart dow chart is very interesting falling resistance line same line is acting as a support support here you can see that there was 
no closing below 31800 level okay now this is very interesting because you can see some reaction below 31800 but we think if dow manages to close now below 31800 definitely we can see some lower level in the dow as well and uh, if this wick low is taken out okay which is near about 31400 level okay 400 to 500 level then on the same day if you see in nifty intraday we will get a good short opportunity as well so guys here we will uh, be very cautious okay again so after looking at the chart we will be very cautious on the upside okay and if we get some good opportunity on the downside we would be ready to take that now let us go and see dollar index chart here we can see there was an uh, attempt of a pullback okay then that fizzled out okay so 102 will be the level which one should watch for this is the level okay if it goes below 102 then it might indicate some positive news and we might see dow also going up let us see what will be the reaction of big player on the fed announcement will be because see ultimately because of their positions market will take a direction okay so i have given three weak counters okay from the fno if their levels are taken out uh, considering the sentiment and considering overall trend of the market uh, if their key support level are taken out then a short trade can be of a you know in the current week can be of a good plan now Bajaj Finance you can see it has uh, given a very good pullback from 5600 level and again it has you know come around the same level so to go short here you should wait for 5600 to be taken out and if 5600 uh, is taken out then in intraday you can easily watch 5300 level to come okay in this your first you can take a first small scalp target at 5500 level which will also act as a good psychological level and if it breaches then 5300 level might come on the same day and if someone is looking for a positional view then 5k should be the level which one should watch for if you see another counter which is indigo now falling crude price will be a okay before indigo let me go through the india cement india cement is in a sideways counter you can see it is making a rectangle pattern here if you see the overall trend of india cement every successive pullback is creating a lower high see here also lower high here also lower high here there were same highs okay and same lows creating a rectangle pattern if we see india cement falling below 180 level okay we will keep it not instead of 181 or 182 if it goes below 180 level then definitely there will be a breakdown here and you can achieve intraday target of 175 and 170 on the same day and if someone wait for the pattern target which will be the length of this overall trend okay you can expect near about 160 level to come in the upcoming days now our last counter is indigo okay if you see indigo you can see a rising okay support line okay it has um, being very crucial here so if indigo breaches 1800 level in the upcoming week then there can be a good opportunity intraday you can watch for 1750 and 1700 level in the same session and if someone wants to take a positional then 16 uh, 1600 will be the level which one could watch for now indigo is showing some interesting uh, price action behavior uh, crude is going down still there are attempts in indigo for a uh, you know upside movement but still it is failing okay so it will be you know it it will see some weakness if it goes below its recent swing low which is nothing but 1800 level so you should also watch for 1800 level in the current week if it goes below that then definitely 1750 1700 level intraday one could definitely watch for now all these three counter are showing us some weakness 
um, if it goes below their respective level then it would be a ideal trade otherwise wait wait for the 22nd march okay basically wait for the thursday there will be announcement there will be lot of clarity uh, which uh, big player will get on that day and ultimately we will also see the direction of the market so we hope for the best let us see what comes in the expiry till then take care and i will meet you in the next episode